Are you getting this error retrieving frame inside Premiere Pro? Then you're not alone. And in this video, I will show you the most popular solutions to solve this error. The first solution that a lot of people have found to work is to simply close Premiere Pro and then open it again. And if that doesn't work, try rebooting your computer. The second solution is to delete corrupted media cache. So to do this, you first want to close your project. So click on File, then click on Close Project. And remember to save. Now click on Edit, go to Preferences, and then go to Media Cache. Here you want to click on the Delete button, choose the second option, and then click on OK. Then Premiere Pro will automatically shut down and you will have to launch it again. If that didn't work, the third solution is to go to Edit, Preference this and then once again open media cache and this time you want to click on browse and then make sure that your media cache is stored on a fast drive. Many people also reported getting the error using a portable drive. So if you are using a portable drive then try to move your footage to an internal one. Fifth solution, open the Creative Cloud application, then head over to the updates and make sure Premiere Pro is up to date. The sixth solution is to make sure that the clip that's causing the error is not of a variable frame rate, as these are known to cause problems inside Premiere Pro. So go ahead and right click the clip that's causing the problem in your sequence, then click on reveal in project, and then you will see it selected here in the project window. Then just double click the clip as you can see it in the source monitor, and now you want to right click the image here and then go to properties. Here you want to make sure that there is no where it says variable frame rate, which will look like this. If you find out that your clip has a variable frame rate, then an easy way to fix this is to use a software called Handbrake, which is free to download, and I will leave a link to it in the description. So to easily fix a clip with a variable frame rate, right click it in the project window and then go to reveal in explorer then go ahead and open handbrake and just drag the clip into handbrake and drop it from here click on video then you want to check off this option that says constant frame rate and also make sure that you set it to the right resolution next to get a high quality clip set this scale here to 23 then set the location by clicking on browse and now click on start and code then simply import the transcoded clip to premiere pro and now hopefully it's problem free another thing you can do is to create proxies for the clip that's causing the problem so right click it here then click on proxies and create proxies now click on ok and this will be done from the adobe media encoder then wait for it to create the proxies and once it's done, open Premiere Pro and then watch the sequence. The clip we created the proxy for has this icon here. So to toggle on the proxy, you want to click on this icon here that says toggle proxies. And when it's blue, the proxy is activated. If that didn't work, a very popular solution to this error is by going to the file and then go to project settings, click on general. And then you want to change the renderer from the GPU acceleration to the software only. So now you will not use your GPU but only your CPU to play the sequence. This will almost definitely fix your error but if you're going to render the timeline then the processing time will be a lot longer. I've written a full article on this error on my website so I will leave a link to it in the description and here you will find probably 10 extra solutions not mentioned in this video. So check it out and please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and thanks for watching. Thank you.